Hello, Bay Ridge. Welcome to another edition of After Hours. On Sunday, we were talking about God's sovereignty as we concluded our series on the way and looking at Psalm 1 and 2. And I hope that was encouraging to you that God is watching over you, caring for you, seeing you personally as you go throughout. And as we came to the Lord's table, we went through question 98 of our catechism, which I took straight from Heidelberg uh, Catechism, question one, but it's a great summary of the faith of what is our comfort in life and death. And so I wanted to bring up again our catechism because there's something new with it. We have a new interactive version of the catechism uh, that Stephanie has worked to put together. It's the same content as we had before, but it's uh, a new interactive version that will really help you do it. And I want to remind you what the catechism is and what it's there for. A catechism is a question and answer format that allows you to study and learn about the key doctrines of the faith. Uh, our particular one has 98 questions and answers. It's not necessarily something you would sit down and read through at one setting, but it goes through really key uh, ideas and doctrines and, and things of importance in the Christian faith. So it goes over the Ten Commandments, uh, the Lord's Prayer is in there, the Apostles' Creed is in our version of the Catechism, and it's uh, fairly succinct questions and answers as you move through regarding the gospel, how we respond, and then how we show gratitude. Ours is built around the Heidelberg Catechism, actually, with the idea of what's usually referred to as guilt, grace, and gratitude. Early in the Catechism, we learn about our guilt because of our sin. Then we learn about the doctrines of salvation and how God's grace has worked to resolve our sin. And then in the third part, which is actually almost the second half of the catechism, it talks about our gratitude. That's where we go over the Ten Commandments to learn how God has revealed to us. We can show gratitude to Him in the way we respond to Him and the way we live. Uh, our catechism also references other great catechisms of the faith. So with each question... We not only give you information regarding the question, but we also give you information regarding other catechisms, uh, the Westminster Catechism, the Shorter Catechism, or uh, the Heidelberg Catechism, also the New City Catechism. Uh, and finally, ours actually gives you the Bible references. So when we make a statement about these particular questions, uh, we give references. So when we say, you know, why did God create humans? The answer is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Well, where do we see that in the scripture? Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, for example, tells us, so whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. And we go through a, a whole host of scriptures that we have there. There are also extra questions, helping you understand kind of as we're moving through the catechism, how the things relate. It's a very robust tool to help you study and learn. And again, that's been out there for several years and available. But Stephanie has gone through and done something that makes it much more useful, which it is now uh, highly interactive. So when you uh, go to our catechism on our webpage, if you go under teachings and then look under re other resources and you go to the catechism and you click on it, when, you, when it comes up, it's got an interactive table of uh, content. So you can read through the 98 questions. What are they? And then right from there, click to go directly to that question. Uh, it's got the links to other catechism questions that are similar. So if it tells you, hey, our first question, uh, you know, why did God create humans, is based on Westminster Shorter Catechism question one. At what is the chief end of man? So if you click on it, it actually carries you to Westminster Shorter Catechism question one. So you can kind of see their question and how they answered it. Uh, it gives links to past teachings. Every catechism question, we say if you want to study further, you can listen to this teaching, which will give you more information on it. And when you click on it from right there, you are carried to the page on our website where that teaching is located. So you can look at the teaching outlines, see other resources that we've given. You can download the audio of the teaching and listen to it. Um, and it even has for every single question, we have a suggested worship song so that you can sing worship songs. For example, for question 98 that we did this week, the worship song is Come Behold the Wondrous Mystery. Uh, one of my favorite songs. And as you click on that, it carries you to Spotify and it actually brings that song up so you can listen to it. So in one place, you can have Bible verses that you're studying. You can kind of see how they're summarized in our question and answer. You can see other great catechisms through the ages, how they've done it. You can download and look at teaching outlines 
uh, or listen to the audio and you can even go and hear the song and sing and worship along with it. It's kind of a one-stop place. And again, it's been made so much more useful because uh, Stephanie, uh, who I want to give thanks to, Stephanie O'Brien put a ton of work into this. Uh, she went back and she had to index all of this and kind of reformat it and create hyperlinks to every bit of it. It's made it a lot more useful. And I want to encourage you, if you're looking for a way to do something in your quiet time or just some extra study, the catechism is a great place to dig in. We're working and teaching our kids. They've been going through the Lord's Prayer and learning that and working through stuff on the catechism. Uh, every one of us can learn and use it as a great resource. So I want to encourage you, dig in and grow in your walk. The more you dig into the Word of God, the more you study and meditate these things, the more you realize who God is, how He's watching over you, how you're going to find your deepest and greatest joy in life by knowing and loving and serving Him. So use this tool, use other resources that are there on our website to dig in uh, and grow closer to God. I hope this is encouraging and helps you, and I hope you have a great week. I will be gathering for worship again this Sunday. God bless.